question number 41. In this question, the relation between the magnitude of range and time of flight is given as r is equal to 5 t square. We have to find out the angle of projection. The range can be written as 2 u square sin theta cos theta by g while time can be written as 2 u sin theta by g. So this will be square. On solving, we get a value that 2 cos theta is equal to 20 sin theta by g or tan theta is equal to 1. Further on, we can write down that theta will be equal to 45 degrees. Hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number 2. Moving on to the question number 42. In question 42, rain is falling vertically downward with speed 10 root 3. If the wind is blowing in east direction, 10 velocity of the rain observed by the person standing on the ground is. The student, the velocity of rain with respect to ground will be equal to the velocity of rain plus velocity of wind in vectorial form. So, the magnitude of velocity of rain with respect to ground will be equal to, we can write down the magnitude and this will be Vr square plus Vw square. That will be under root of 10 root 3 square plus 10 square and this will be equal to 20 meaning that the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Now let us solve question number 43. In question 43 two balls are projected from a cannon with same speed at an angle 30 and 60. Then which of the following is correct? T is time of flight, H is the height and R is the range. Dear student, herein it is given that theta 1 is equal to theta and theta 2 can be written as 90 minus theta, where theta can be written as 30 degree. Now, TA and TB will be equal to sin theta by sin 90 minus theta as T is proportional to sin theta. So, this will be equal to tan theta that is tan 30 that is 1 by root 3. And hence, second option is correct. Similarly, range will be equal as these two angles are complementary that is they add up to 90 degree. Height ratio will be equal to sin square theta by sin square 90 minus theta as height is proportional to sin square theta. This will be 1 by 3. Hence, option number 4 is correct as well. We can clearly see that from this option the correct answer should be option number 1 which is an incorrect statement. Now let us move to the question number 44. In this question, a man holding a flag is running in northeast direction with a speed of 10 meter per second and the wind is blowing in the east direction with a speed 5 root 2. Find the direction in which the flag will flutter. This student, the flag will flutter in the direction of the velocity of the wind with respect to man. Now we have to find out the velocity of wind with respect to man. That will be velocity of wind plus velocity of man in opposite direction. So this will be 5 root 2 i cap we have taken each direction as i cap minus 5 root 2 i cap plus 5 root 2 j cap because the northeast direction is this one that is 10 meter per second we have resolved it into east and the north direction in the east direction it will be 5 root 2 meter per second that is 10 cos 45 and in the north direction it will be again 5 root 2 meter per second that is 10 sin 45 so this will be equal to minus 5 root 2 j cap and hence, dear student, the direction will be in the south direction, that is minus j, as you have taken upper direction as plus j, which is in the north direction. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer would be option number 4. Now, let us move to the question number 45. In question 45, Phelps crosses Hudson River along a line making an angle of 45 degree with the direction of flow. So, let us draw a diagram. Let this be the river flow in this direction. So, Phelps is crossing it at an angle of 45 degree with the river flow. Velocity of flowing water is, that is Vr is equal to 5 meter per second. It is given that it takes 12 seconds to cross the river. Then the velocity of Phelps with respect to water will be. Dear student, this is the velocity of the Phelps with respect to ground. Now, the velocity of river is 5 meter per second. It is given. Dear student, let this be the velocity of swimmer with respect to ground. Now, velocity of swimmer cos 45 here will be in the horizontal direction and velocity of swimmer in sin 45 direction will be the speed with which it will cross the river. If we divide the thickness of the river or the width of the river 60 with this, we get the time of crossing that will be 12. 
so 60 by 12 sine 45 will be equal to Vs and from this equation we can write down that Vs will be equal to 5 root 2. Now if this is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to river Vs will be equal to Vsr plus Vr. So Vsr will be equal to Vs minus Vr. From this equation we can write down that Vsr will have a magnitude of 5 meter per second and hence for this question the correct answer should be option number 2. Dear student, this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of this AIATS. I hope you understood all the solutions. I wish you all the very best for future endeavors. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Mm -hmm.